Today we'll be looking why Blue Origin's moon lander wasn't chosen by NASA. Last year, NASA gave out $967 million to three different companies, including Blue Origin. Of course, this money wasn't given to these companies because they looked nice or they were polite to NASA. The money was awarded to those companies because NASA contracted them to develop lunar landers. This is the spacecraft that will help man land on the moon since we can't just, well, fire rockets filled with humans to the moon. Well, technically, we could, but we can't if we want those humans to reach the moon safely and also come back. Anyway, NASA gave those companies money because the agency expected them to build three separate human landers. According to the agreement, after a year, NASA will choose the best design prototype and will input additional funding for its development. Today, about a year after giving out the contracts, NASA has chosen SpaceX as the company to build the craft that will return man to the moon after almost 50 years, rejecting Blue Origin's prototype in the process. Today on Super Freaky Science, we'll be talking about which prototype NASA eventually went with and why NASA went with that prototype rejecting Blue Origin. And trust us, the reason why NASA picked SpaceX will shock you. It certainly shocked us. Well, no, not really. We saw this coming. Some background before we dive into Blue Origin and why it didn't get the contract, we have to talk about some important things we think you should know. The first is that the three companies NASA gave money to aren't three companies exactly. They are more like seven companies. To be accurate, they are more like three alliances, or teams, or, or whatever synonym you want to use. You get the point. The first company is Blue Origin. Blue Origin was assisted by other companies like Lockheed Martin, Northrop Gunman, and Draper. According to the contract, all four companies would work on building the prototype to demonstrate to NASA, and the vehicle would be capable of launching on the United Launch Alliance's new Vulcan rocket, which is currently still in development. Blue Origin and its team were given $579 million by NASA, which constitutes the bulk of the entire money dispersed. The second group of companies was Dynetics and Syria Nevada Corporation, with $253 million in NASA funding. The prototype Dynetex planned looked a bit like a rabbit with two solar arrays extended like rabbit ears. The prototype Dynetics was building was supposed to launch on the ULA's future Vulcan rocket. The last company and eventual winner of the contract was SpaceX. With only a paltry $135 million in design funding, SpaceX got the lowest share of NASA's pie. Amazingly, they were the company that eventually got approved, but more on that later. Let's talk about the SpaceX lander. The Starship SpaceX's bid for the contract is called the Starship, a huge ship that the company has been developing in Boca Chica, Texas for the last few years. The Starship will carry crews and equipment between a craft in lunar orbit and the moon's surface during the planned 2024 mission. The Starship will be a lot larger than the prototypes of the Dynetic and Blue Origins team and will be landing on the moon by using its main engines to lower itself down on a hard surface. According to a rendering of the vehicle, astronauts would have to use an elevator to get down to the moon's surface from the top of the lander. That's how big the lander will be. Why did NASA choose the Starship? Why do you think that NASA chose the Starship? We asked people, we showed them designs of the three spacecraft, and some said that the reason was that the Starship well, it's a lot bigger than the other designs, and that is true. The Starship is a lot bigger. But could that be the reason? The answer is no. NASA is an agency made of scientists. They wouldn't make such a decision based on something so meaningless. Others said it was because the Starship design was just better. And while that may be true, we can't say for sure. Who's to say that the Blue Origin prototype wasn't better than the Starships? So why was the Starship chosen? And more importantly, why did NASA choose the Starship alone when it intends to choose two landers initially for redundancy? The answer is very simple. Money. A Senate appropriation bill is poised to give NASA a lot less money than it asked for in designing the human landing system. 
NASA asked for about $3 billion in design of the system, and they responded by giving NASA only about a billion dollars. This threw a huge spanner in NASA's work and meant they only had money to support one lander. This lack of resources also meant that NASA had to take pricing into consideration when awarding the final contract for the human lander. So the prototype that NASA chose had to work and also had to be appropriately priced. And that's exactly why SpaceX was chosen and Blue Origin and the rest were rejected. Although all the prototypes were viable, they weren't quite as affordable as what SpaceX had to offer. That's what sealed the deal for NASA. That's why NASA decided that the best use of its money would be to award the $2.89 billion contract to SpaceX alone. Before we go on, we've got our tiny wager for you. If we can freak you out with a super freaky science fact, you'll like and you will subscribe to the channel. Immediately. Deal? Of course it's a deal. Astronaut footprints on the moon can last for a million years. Freaky, right? What are the rest saying? As you'd expect, the news that NASA will only choose one company to design their human landing system rocket shocked the other companies. Blue Origin and its teammates issued a statement saying that they didn't yet have very much information about NASA's decision. They also said that they are looking forward to learning about the selection process. But we don't think that that will make a huge difference, to be honest. NASA has made their decision, and that's probably all we'll hear about that. And that's it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Goodbye, and remember to stay safe.